I've got all 100 ghost shrimp inside of this styrofoam bin right here. Oh my god, here we go. Here we go. You know when you have a bag this big, you have a giant fish. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. As you guys can see from the title and thumbnail of this video, we are going to be picking up a huge rare moray eel for our saltwater pond. But before we get into that, we gotta talk a little bit about this saltwater pond that's coming. <clears throat> Ladies, gentlemen, fish guys, fish girls, welcome to class what you have been waiting for. Two things that I will be discussing in today's lecture. First and foremost, the saltwater pond. Now over the past month or so, you all have been waiting so patiently with me regarding the new saltwater pond that's coming. First of all, the new pond, 1,000 gallons. 1,000 gallons, one we had before, 800 gallons, bigger and better. Now I'm holding this lecture today to go over some important information regarding when this pond will be arriving, what it will look like, and the fish we'll be adding. Now the reason for this is we are going to pick up one of the coolest eels I've ever laid eyes on in my entire life today inside this video. Now forgive me for my poor drawing here. I never claimed to be an artist. I've claimed to be a fish guy. The pond will look something like this. 1,000 gallons with a roof built over the top to help protect from the shade, okay? We'll be putting very nice big pieces of wood inside of the ground, okay? The great news that I have for everybody today is that the pond will be here. It is being built and we are that much closer to the pond being here. I know you guys have all been wondering where the heck this new pond is. I've been stocking a lot of fish in some tanks getting ready for this pond and I'm sure you guys are a bit confused on what's happening so I wanted to break the news to you all that the pond is officially being built. We've had holidays, we've had the new year, people have been out of work and it's been delaying the arrival of our pond but the good news is is that it's coming and in today's video we are going to pick up an epic big more at you, ladies and gents. So let's get into it. So yes, the main message from that whole entire little skit I just did is that the saltwater pond is coming and this one behind me, I will be breaking down very soon. There's literally nothing inside there but a bunch of algae. So when we do build that roof over it, it's gonna help with that so much. These are the big wood planks that we're gonna be putting in the ground to support the roof there. So we got a lot of big things in the works and we're picking up a beautiful fish today and I hope you guys are excited. First order of business today is going to be feeding our Stingray and Charizard, our Miniatus grouper. Cause the eel we're getting today is going to be going inside of that tank with them. This eel is at my local store and they have it in a 65 gallon right now. Now I'm only gonna have this eel in this aquarium hopefully for the next two to three weeks and then he'll be going straight into the 1,000 gallon. And that right there is what we're here for, the feeder ghost shrimp. We're gonna get about 100 of those. And just like that, we got a ton of ghost shrimp inside here. Let's head back to the house and let's feed some fish. We've made it back home and I've got all 100 ghost shrimp inside of this styrofoam bin right here. And we have Charizard, our mini Otis grouper, and Tom, our stingray. And you guys are actually seeing them underwater. I have the GoPro in the corner of the tank down below because I want you guys to get an epic shot of these guys cruising around the tank and eating all of these shrimp. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Now let's get all 100 shrimp inside of the tank. All right, I definitely don't have all 100, but I've got a good 50, a good half of them. And they all go, oh my God, here we go. Here we go. Charizard is always skeptical. He's always skeptical with them. Look at that, he's going. I think Tom's got a couple too. Tom's got a couple trapped underneath him right now. I saw Charizard pick off one or two of them. Now he's always very skeptical with the shrimp. Let's see. Come on, buddy. Come out. Here he goes. Boom! He's getting them. He's getting them. Now the GoPro is way over there, so he isn't capturing this right now. But once this guy leaves his rock, he's going to come out. He's got so many in the open field over there. Should be an epic GoPro shot. Here he comes. He's coming out. He's coming out from the rock. Go get him, boy. Go get him. Yeah! There he goes. And we got Tom going now, too. Holy cow. Look at how bright Charizard our mini artist grouper is. I cannot wait to see him go in the pond. I think I am going to end up putting him in there. It's been something I've been kind of going back and forth on. Do I want to keep him in my 55 gallon in my room or do I want to put him in the pond? But I think just him in the pond, that orange, that bright would look ridiculous. These guys are still going to work inside here. I mean, Charizard in the corner is just going to town. Tom, quite honestly, has gone over the GoPro like three or four times trying to eat it, thinking it's a shrimp. But unfortunately, buddy, it's a GoPro and you can eat it. I hope you guys did enjoy this underwater footage. I think this might've turned out 
really, really, really epic. There's still a ton of shrimp inside there, so it's gonna be good for when we put our brand new Mori eel inside here. And we're gonna head to the store right now, and we're gonna pick this guy up. I'll see you guys there. Now, welcome to the fish store, everybody. We got a couple of really cool eels here. I believe one is a Skeletor Moray eel, and the other one is a blue ribbon eel. Now, neither of these are the ones that we will be getting for our pond, but they are two really cool eels. Now, they also have a really cool bamboo shark. Now, at this time, we don't have any room for sharks, but they also had a ton of axolotls. Now, these are really cool. I haven't seen some this big in a while, but we got our eel bagged up, and we're heading back to the house. Guys, we're back at the house, and take a look at the size of this box right here. This eel is very big. Now, I didn't show you guys it when I was at the store because I didn't want to spoil it for you guys, but we're going to jump right into this box right now. Let's go ahead, rip this bag open. This is going to be the first time that I've seen it in a few days because they already had it ready to go for me. I literally walked in and it was already in the bag. You know when you have a bag this big, you have a giant fish. Oh my God, I can see it a little. Oh my God. Holy crap, look at this. He's big. How am I going to get him out of here? No. Guys, come look at this eel right here. This is a big zebra mora eel. Now, when you come across a fish with that size, when you're setting up a pond soon, you cannot miss the opportunity. I mean, he is really big. I mean, I would say he's probably 24 inches. He's got like a really nice brown tint and the people at the store said that this guy has a personality like no other. Look at him, there's his head right there. Zebra, he's oh coming, God, he's coming out. He's coming out. God, Scared. I love them. I, I love eels, but I also don't like them because they're way too much like snakes. You way too. Snakes. I used to want a snake so bad, not anymore. That is such a cool eel, you guys. You can see, come take a really close look and zoom in on his stripes on his head. Clearly, you can see why he gets the name Zebra Moray Eel. Super beautiful eel. Let me see if I can pick him up. I've been bit once. I'm gonna wrangle this thing. Look at that, guys. Oh. My God, zebra more eel right there. That is insane. We can put him back in. He's got, I just noticed though, if you look really close, he's got a yellow, like right there. He's like, he's like a golden dot. That is a cool eel. We're gonna go ahead, get this guy acclimated and we're getting him into the aquarium. Ladies and gents, it is time to get this beautiful eel in the aquarium. If you guys have a name for him, drop it down below in the comments. Let's get an awesome name for this guy. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna pick him up. He's super tame and he's really just, a friendly, he's a friendly eel. He lets me grab him. Come here, dude. Here we go. Here we go. Up and in. Holy cow. There you go, buddy. Look at that eel. Hey, be nice. Be Ooh. nice, Charizard. That is such a cool eel. It's like a an illusion. Literally like an illusion with the stripes as you see him swim. So we got a grouper. We got an eel. We got a stingray inside of the aquarium. Now this is extremely temporary. Hopefully two weeks maximum. He was in a 60 gallon tank at the store. Super cool new addition. So as of right now, we have Galaxy the Queen Angel. We have Puff Daddy, our spiny box puffer. We have Ned the Needlefish. Pork Chop the Pork Fish. Charizard the Mini Otis Grouper. Tom the Stingray. All ready for the saltwater pond you guys drop a name down below for our brand new zebra eel he's gonna be freaking awesome subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already be sure to go check out fish guy shop first link down in the description use my code fish guy jack to save you 10 percent catch you all in that next video peace mm -hmm.